Hello everyone, I'm Jay from TechForce and as you can, um, as you know, there has been a lot of um, talk around Zoom bombing. So um, Zoom bombing is where un uninvited um, people crash into your Zoom meetings, right? Um, so there has been a number of incidents around this. So what I have um, decided to do is I was, I was I decided to do a live demonstration of how it can happen, right? So here on my screen, um, we have Zoom. So I'm going to schedule a meeting um, just now, right? Zoom is really good, right? Simple, um, apart from security just now, right? But you can get that in control. So let's uh, let's see how we can do that. So, okay, I have started a meeting here. Uh, you can't see my video because my video is being used for live streaming here. And um, what I'm going to do is, here is my virtual machine. So I have a separate PC, let's say, and I'm going to join my, well, I'm going to do the Zoom bombing here, right? Um, so what's the meeting ID is, two, 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 two. right? Okay, 912-911-911-198. Right, open Zoom. Launching. So you will see in a minute, as you can see here, right? So I'm gonna minimize this virtual machine um, just now. So as you can see, a bad actor, I have named it as just, just uh, for intention of this demo. So I just joined without, um, without the invitation. All I know is the meeting ID. So the first step to prevent this is to not to advertise your meeting ID. In this case, my meeting ID is randomly generated. I will show you how in a minute. But you know, this is how how easy it is to just you know, if somebody knows a bad actor knows your uh, meeting ID, they can just join in. It's the same with the uh, phone um, as well. So here, let's say, uh, right, let's uh, switch to the computer audio. Zoom numbers are same, most countries, you know, similar numbers. So if a simple Google search shows up what numbers they are. So I'm going to see if I could um, just dial in and join with, with the phone, right? So let's see, the number is here. Welcome to Zoom. Enter your meeting ID followed by hash. Nine one two nine one 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 nine eight hash. Enter your participant ID followed by hash. Otherwise, just press hash to continue. You are in the meeting now. There are two participants in the meeting. Right. As, as you can see, my mobile number on the screen right now. So I'm in the meeting, right? It's it's that simple. Um, you know, it's really that simple. So that's that's what Zoom bombing is. And there has been a number of cases where people are just crashing into the uh, uninvited people are just crashing into uh, the meetings and either listening to listening to the content or the discussions or just uh, showing some inappropriate uh, images and, and and videos of whatnot, right? So. You can easily, easily prevent it. Uh, there are three steps to prevent, right? First things first, don't advertise your meeting ID on a public forum or social media. I know you're having a great meeting, you're having a great day, you know, great day at work, but please do not um, publish your meeting ID while the meeting is ongoing or do not publish your personal meeting ID, which is um, your own meeting ID, right? And the second step is um, to enable password, password protect the meetings, right? Let me end this uh, and I will show you what exactly I mean. So when you um, log into the Zoom here, you go into your profile and then settings, you can change the settings here, right? So first things first, what you can say is, um, you know, require password for instant meetings. 
So in that, in this case, um, when you initiate a meeting from the desktop app, it will ask a password for the participants. When you send um, the invitation, the password is already embedded in the invitation when somebody receives it, so they don't need to enter the password. But for uninvited people, it will ask for the password, so they cannot join anymore. And also, I recommend you do the uh, required password for um, you know people joining in by the phone as well, right? So this is this will avoid 90% of the issues, 90, 95% of the issues uh, with Zoom bombing, right? You can also do furthermore, when you are um, you know, scheduling a meeting, always select you know, random um, meeting ID to be uh, randomly gen generated automatically, right? Uh, this is my personal meeting ID, but now, ha now I have shown you, I'm going to change that. Um, and you can e easily change that as well. Right, so that's pretty much it. A um, couple of extra steps you can do while the meeting is ongoing. So, for example, let's host it again, right? Let's let's see how the password thing works. Mm -hmm. Join. Ah, oh, let's let's just do join with phone call. Right, okay, now let's do this again. Okay, as you can see, the meeting ID is now different because it is automatically generated 305-973-137. Hopefully this works. <laughs> Right, there you go. It's asking for meeting uh, meet, meeting password. So I cannot, if somebody uninvited user cannot enter, I'll, although I know your meeting ID, right? Same with the phone um, joining as well, right? Let's, let's see this. Welcome to Zoom. Enter your meeting ID. Enter my meeting ID. What was that again? You have not entered any numbers. Please re-enter your meeting ID followed by hash. 305-973-137 hash. Enter your participant ID followed by hash. Otherwise, just press hash to continue. Please enter the meeting password followed by hash. So as as you heard it just now, I need a password to enter. You have not so entered any number. Please re-enter. This is how you can protect. A uh, couple of extra steps. You must must enable the password. Uh, one thing uh, Zoom has done, which is pretty good now, is they have disabled um, telephone joining for free accounts, free users to uh, cope up with the demand, which is a good thing, I think, um, so that random people won't just uh, Zoom bomb into your meetings, right? Uh, a couple of other things you can do, as I said, is you know click on the sh uh, you know screen share option sharing screen options go to the advanced and just who can share just uh, restrict to only host so that nobody else can share unless host authorizes them uh, you know even though random people uh, pop in they, they they won't be able to share any explicit content or you know some random shit, right so you can do that and then one more thing is you can mute participants on entry, right? Um, so somebody else joins and they won't be able to talk. Um, and finally, once if you think everybody else joined the meeting, just you know lock the meeting so that there won't be any new people. But first things first, do not advertise your meeting ID on a public forum or sh social media. Enable password and restrict the screen sharing to host only and additional options are available, um, right? Awesome, I hope that helps. Um, thank you very much.